Today, let's talk about data sheets. Now, for the first time, when I created a PCB for my current project, I did not use dev board. Usually I'll just stick a dev board onto the PCB and that will make the design a lot simpler. And that is why I also had to dig into a few data sheets, uh, over 40 over components, 20 over unique items to find out what they were. And I found through the course of going through all the data sheets that as a preliminary a read up or uh, when you are kind of uh, trying to assess whether this component is suitable for your project, there are certain components across all the data sheets that we can go and refer to. So for today, we are going to be referring to four such data sheets. One of them is a microcontroller. It is a SAM D21 by Atmel. I first started using it as part of a dev board. The second component will be a temperature and the humidity sensor. Now I am holding the dev board from Adafruit SI7021 sensor. The third component will actually be a through hole component. It is a IR emitter or is it a receiver? Sorry, it is an IR receiver. And the fourth one will be a voltage regulator. Now, if this is your very first time creating the PCB with just the microcontroller without the dev board, it is very, very helpful to actually refer to open schematics. In my case, I was actually going through the Arduino framework and I found that SAMD21 is another microcontroller that the Arduino firmware supports. And I found three dev boards based on SAMD21. The first one is of course uh, by Arduino themselves, Arduino M0. And over here, if we come to the documentation, we can actually look at the schematic. And the schematic itself will have the SAMD21 microcontroller board with all the pinouts and how they are linking it. The second dev board that I got to refer to is by Robodyne. It is also Arduino compatible and its schematic is also open source. Referring to the Robodyne schematic also gave me a lot of hint in how I can lay out my PCB and do the schematic. And the third uh, dev board that I found, which is also based on Atmel SAMD21 is by Adafruit Feather M0 Express. And they too have open sourced their schematic. As you can see here, this is the microcontroller with all the pinouts. So between these three dev boards, I had a lot of open schematics to refer to. So let's quickly go through the four data sheets that have already downloaded. The first one is Atmel SAMD21, the microcontroller. It has over 1000 pages. So thankfully the PDF makes it easy for us to search. The second one is the voltage regulator. It is a ultra low dropout voltage regulator. The third one is the IR receiver. And the fourth one is the SI7021, which is the humidity and temperature sensor. Now, when looking through the open schematic, we will see that the microcontroller itself at SAMD21 has a bunch of numbers uh, right at the end of it. In fact, if we refer to the Arduino schematic, it is the same. So these numbers are actually known as the ordering code. So why don't we go and dig inside the data sheet for the information on ordering code? So here I am in the Atmos MD21. So if you just search for ordering and there you see, there is a section on the ordering information. And as I've already highlighted here, the SAMD21, they will actually say, tell you very, very clearly what each of these letters stand for. This is not just specific to this data sheet. I found that in the other data sheet. So why don't we go ahead and search here maybe. So you see there is an ordering information on page 29. And if you go there, you will also see that uh, they have many, many, many different types of order numbers and all their last few digits and numbers are slightly different depending on the description. And finally, this is the voltage regulator. So why don't we go ahead and search for it? And there you see, there is also another section on order code. 
and similarly, it seems like the order code for the voltage regulator is uh, depending on the package and also the output voltage here. The second section in data sheets that I like to look at, in fact, right after the order code is actually the package or the mechanical aspect of it. And this is very, very important because after you lay out in schematic, electrically you checked it, what if the mechanics just don't work out? So let's go inside each of the data sheet and search for this section. So I'm gonna simply search for package inside the LDO the voltage regulator and immediately you come to the section and there will be the mechanical data here. There will also be some uh, dimensions and the types. And you will also get to know that this is a SOT 23.5 package. And if you're happy with it, uh, you can go ahead and choose this component package. Similarly, if we search in the temperature sensor, you will also come across package and it seems like over here it is three times three millimeter DFN package. And if we go through the table of contents, it will also make you come to a mechanical size with all the dimensions. And this page once again becomes important if you want to create a very specific footprint. And finally, let's search for the word package in SAM D21. This is a huge, huge uh, data sheet, but even here you will see that they have different types of packages. And of course, being a much more complicated uh, IC, you will find a lot more information about it. So there you see the packages, there are different, different types. For example, here I have identified that Arduino M0 uses this package. The third segment that I next like to dive into is something called the pin configuration, the pinouts, or the pin specification. This tells us exactly what the component does. So once again, I'm gonna search for something called pin. And inside the voltage regulator data sheet, you'll see pin configuration. And this is exactly, they will tell you that, hey, there are five pins here, but more importantly, they will also tell you the name and the function of it. Similarly, if we go to the microcontroller, let's search for pin. Maybe there are too many search results. Uh, let's search for pin out. And there you see, there is a segment that actually labels all the pin numbers and the pin outs, as well as what is its function. So be sure to check out the section pin out. The number fourth section is something called electrical specification or electrical characteristics. Uh, this is something I refer to quite at the beginning as well for making the power management circuit. So let's start with the microcontroller and maybe search for something like characteristics. And uh, it will immediately tell you that it is found on page 935. So let's go right there. And there you see we have a bunch of tables talking about the characteristics. And the first one that I like to look at is typically the voltage, especially the minimum and the maximum voltage. Similarly, in the IR receiver, we will also see a very, very similar table. And over here also, you will see the supply voltage. It is 2.5 to 5.5. So we know what kind of voltage to supply it to. And finally, in the LDO, there is uh, even a section called electrical characteristics. And uh, similarly, you'll also see the operating input voltage from 2.5 to 6 voltage. Uh, so this is, uh, these are usually found as a table and uh, they are usually labeled as electrical characteristics or even uh, electrical specifications. The fifth section is something called the maximum rating. And this kind of gives you the boundary, whether it's current, temperature, voltage, and other uh, kind of physical characteristics that the IC can handle. So I'm simply gonna search for say maximum. And there you see there is the maximum rating section. And this is where they will tell you the input voltage, the output voltage, and uh, sometimes even the temperature that it can withstand. 
Let's find uh, the similar section in the IR receiver. I'm just simply going to search for maximum and you will similarly come across maximum rating and you see the supply voltage here as well. And uh, similarly, you'll also see the temperature. And finally, if we come to the microcontroller, let's search for maximum here and see what we come across. So obviously there are a lot of uh, results, but uh, why don't we narrow the search and say maximum rating? And there you see, after a few searches, we will come to one such very, very similar table. And it talks about the supply voltage as well as the storage temperature. The last segment that I found really, really useful is something called the application circuit or the typical application circuit. And I use that as one of the first steps to creating my own schematic. So here, let me go to the voltage uh, regulator and I'm simply going to search for just uh, say circuit. Uh, maybe let me search for application. And there you see there is a segment here. And yep, uh, there is uh, the typical uh, circuit, uh, which basically tells you how to lay it out. Usually these will come with decoupling capacitors. For example, you see here, uh, there are three decoupling capacitors and uh, uh, all the pins that need to be connected to the ground. I have uh, similarly gone ahead and uh, just taken the values here for the three capacitors given in the typical circuit. For example, here there is like one microfarad, and you can see that these are a couple of microfarads and a 10 nan nanofarad. And I have also put a 10 nanofarad here. Let's search a similar thing for the temperature sensor. And there you see there is a section called typical application circuit. And once again, you will see the same thing. There is a decoupling capacitor and a couple of resistors. Uh, and of course, this is an I2C interface, SCL and SDA. This comes in really, really handy when uh, creating our own schematics. So let me show you what uh, similar things I have done here. So basically, I have also gone ahead and have the couple of resistors, the capacitor, and of course, uh, to whichever pin that I want to connect to. And finally, for the IR receiver, same thing. If I search my application circuit, we will also come across a very, very similar kind of layout. Here, you, once again, we see a decoupling capacitor. There's an RC circuit going around here. And once again, if we look at uh, the IR receiver here, I have also have done the same thing. In fact, uh, they also tell you the values to use, the typical values for the resistor and the capacitor. So those are the six sections of a data sheet that I use as the first cut research when uh, deciding what kind of voltage it needs to have, the mechanical sizing, the packages, even a little bit of the schematic and kind of have a overview of very brief first-hand overview of whether these components are suitable for my project. Of course, uh, having the data sheet, these are not just the six segments that we should be looking at. We should definitely be uh, going into the specific segments uh, later on in our design phase. So these are the six segments that um, I think the data sheets can be handy when you're first researching into it. Are there any other sections that you uh, like to go into or you find useful in any component data sheets? Uh, let's share. Thank you.